more permanent solution to the problem. It's a deeper understanding of the problem crossing the river to get to the uh, to the Emerald City. So aim three could then be about solving the biggest problem of river crossing, building something permanent. So that would be a long-term solution or understanding of the problem. So there's my bridge. Looks like a nice bridge with cars on it. So aim three is more risky as I've set up. Making a long-term solution is riskier to propose because you don't know all the problems that might happen, all the roadblocks you might encounter. And especially, you know, in the long-term frame of five years, maybe AIM-3 is not, you know, it's not possible to make a bridge in, th in five years. But the reader likes to see that you have thought about the big picture and is likely to give you some slack even if AIM-3 is more risky. In other words, if you set up your specific aim so that, you know, aim one is sort of a characterization aim and it really builds on what you already know, aim two solves a problem. You know, it's related to aim one but not dependent on aim one. But aim three tries to go after the long-term solution. Most, um, most readers will give you uh, slack on aim three um, as being more risky. So there's three aims now I've set up to get into the Emerald City. Aim one will help you characterize the river better. So maybe test the hypothesis that the river, river because of certain characteristics, has an optimal way to cross. Okay. And if you knew those characteristics, that that would help you, uh, you know, downstream crossing the river. So in aim one, you're going to measure key characteristics